buying a house at 7% interest when the houses have appreciated this far, locking yourself into just paying house payments and missing out on this opportunity of Bitcoin strikes me as an incredibly bad trade, right? Like you are potentially making, you're not going to get, and the, I think the thing about Bitcoin is when you, your generation is not going to see another one of these things that easily, you know, you know, they may, I mean, there is going to be some amazing AI stuff coming, but it's not necessarily clear that you're going to be able to even invest in or participate in it in any way. Right. It may in fact take your job, right? <laughs> like, you know, you don't know if you don't really know if AI is friendly or, or not. Right. You know, it, so, but I think, you know, you have this opportunity. Bitcoin is like right here in front of you. It's a great opportunity right now. And you're, uh, my, my point is you're not going to see you wait another 10 years and you're 36, you know, you're not going to see that you may not see that opportunity again. You know what I mean? Like in your entire life. So I definitely think this is a make or break moment for a lot of, uh, a lot of millennials and Gen Z's, you know, it's a, it's a make or break moment, right? Because if they make the wrong move, that's it. They're done. You know, you could be, you could basically be locking out, you know, the best period of your year, best years of your life to uh, acquire any kind of wealth. You know, if you haven't acquired some kind of wealth by the time you're 40, it's going to be tough. I mean, I hate to say it, but it's, you know, it, it gets stuff. You know what I mean? Time you're 50, forget it. Now, like you, you better have, you better have nailed it. Because you're, it's just, I mean, there's some, there are some examples. The guy who started McDonald's started in his fifties, right? But you know, in general, you, you kind of got it, kind of got to acquire wealth early. So I would say owning real estate right now is not a great way to acquire wealth. Was it a great way to do wealth? Even in the 80s, you would have been better off buying stocks. Okay. So, you know, really, really what you should have done in that in the 80s is is going along the stock market. Very few people did, right? It was a very similar to kind of where we are now with Bitcoin. Because people always said stocks were overpriced back then. They were like, ah, it's crazy. Crazy PE, 12 PE, oh, that's crazy. Like, why would I buy stocks at 12 PE? Well, because it was a great buy, right? Like that was amazing, right? And, and hindsight is twenty twenty, but I think you know, I really think right now, real estate is is if you you really shouldn't look at it as an investment. You should look at it as a cost. You're gonna have you're gonna it's gonna cost you something to 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 live, and you know, it's really how much how much cost do you want in your life, or versus how much savings do you want to do? I would recommend people save more. And I would recommend that they save in Bitcoin. I think that you're going to be better off saving in Bitcoin. Any analysis you do, you're going to be better off saving in Bitcoin as opposed to saving in your your house. That's my opinion. I could be wrong, you know, but I don't think I am. Uh, and I think, you know, you, you kind of have to go, you know, as Wayne Gretzky said, you have to go where the don't don't skate, skate where the puck is, skate where the puck's going, you know. And so you get, you got to be a little bit of one step ahead of the game and you know, real estate's for boomers like me, you know, like you don't need, you, you should be wherever you want to be, whether it's Budapest or Thailand or where, you know, go rent where it's cheap. It's cheap somewhere to rent, right? There's always nope. somewhere where you can rent cheap, right? And I'd say if I were your age, I would, I would not maybe even move to place it. I'd be a little bit like you, just be a little bit of a nomad, but I would opportunistically look to live where it's, I would look to live outside of major cities where it's cheap, you know? And then I would, I would look to do stuff online or remote work. Right. And I would, uh, look to do that and save in Bitcoin. I think it's a simple, the simple, that's the cheat sheet, you know, for most people. It's not, not any more complicated than that. And the problem is if you're living in San Francisco or New York City, right? You're, 
you know, you may work for a financial firm in New York City, or you may work for, you know, a tech giant in San Francisco. But if you're spending all your money on rent, right, uh, or, you know, a parking garage for your car or whatever it is, right? Uh, that's not going to make you, that's not going to make you tons and tons of money right now. So I definitely think, you know, this is a great time to be stacking sats, especially the next five years. You know, I think, you know, if you can delay things five years, delay things five years. And, you know, I, I think that's a, in general as a, it's a good, it, there's not always been this time. Like right now I see this opportunity you know, if you go back to 2000, I would say, eh, what are you going to do? Buy a house, you know, you, you know, that seems like a good place to put your money, you know, right now, I don't think it's a good place to put your money. I'd say, I'd, I would stay away from real estate. Bitcoin is on track to reach $1 million per coin, though most people remain unaware of this possibility. This is the latest insight from Fred Kruger, a seasoned cryptocurrency expert with close to a decade of experience on Wall Street and a PhD in mathematics from Stanford. While many are pouring their money into traditional assets like real estate, Kruger argues that they may be missing an even bigger opportunity. Despite Bitcoin's notorious price fluctuations, the overall trend indicates immense future growth. Kruger advises Gen Z and millennials to take action now, cautioning that delaying by another 10 years could mean forfeiting the greatest opportunity to accumulate wealth. Make sure to watch to the end of this video to hear why this may be the last real chance to get into Bitcoin and make significant wealth. Also, if you enjoy listening to crypto-related content, please show your support by liking and subscribing to this channel by following the link in my bio. And get access to my free daily crypto updates and expert predictions direct to your inbox. Each newsletter contains market intelligence, on-chain data and latest updates from experts in the crypto space. All of this is available completely free of charge. Signing up only takes a moment and you can always change your mind later on. Now back over to Fred Kruger. It is going to a million dollars a coin regardless. Regardless, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. And you, your generation is not going to see another one of these things that easily. You know, you know they may, I mean, there is going to be some amazing AI stuff coming. But it's not necessarily clear that you're going to be able to even invest in or participate in it in any way. Bitcoin is like right here in front of you. It's a great opportunity right now. And you're, uh, my, my point is you're not going to see, you wait another 10 years and you're 36, you know, you're not going to see that. You may not see that opportunity again. You know what I mean? Like in your entire life. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe for news and expert predictions direct to your inbox.